Okay, so here we want to find the volume of a box with a width of radical 2, a height of radical 3, and a length of 4 radical 6. The idea being that we're just multiplying radicals, right? So square root of 2, square root of 3, a little bit larger, and let's say 4 times square root of 6 will be this longer dimension. I'm kind of, I know I'm kind of turning it around, but if you think about it, the box is 3D, right? It can be rotated any way, so you can make any dimension represent height width or length. It doesn't really matter, it's just about the way you're looking at it from a perspective. So I'm going to, just for convenience's sake, for me this is 4 radical 6, this will be radical 3, 3, and this will be radical 2. So how do you find the volume? Well you multiply, right? Um, length times width times height. Oops. Whoa. Sorry, that's some hold work that popped up. Let me just delete that real quick. Um, so anyway, we're going to multiply length by width by height. So how do we do that? Well, um, this is working with radicals, right? And that's the key here. We didn't know how to, how to work with radicals. The idea, if you forget, and you will forget because there's, well, you might forget because there's so much to think about in mathematics. So don't, don't even bother remembering. Just go back to a simple example. Something you can work out. Something that has like a perfect square. So for example, let's say I have radical 9 times radical 4. Well, what does that equal? We want to know, can we, does that equal radical 36? Well, radical 9 in terms of PEMDAS is 3, and radical 4 is 2. So this should equal 6. Does the square root of 36 equal 6? It does. So one, that, what does that mean? Well, that means that when we multiply these radicals, right? we don't need to know radical 2 before we multiply it, or radical 3, or even 4, radical 6. What we do need to know is that we can simplify this a little bit. We can say that this equals 4 times 2 times radical 2 times 3 times 6. Right? You can multiply and regroup and reorder any way you want. That's the associative and commutative properties. And all we're doing after all is multiplying everything anyway. Right? 4 radical 6 means 4 times radical 6. So now what happens? Well we have 6 times 6. That means 4 radical 36. If we break that down, it's 4 times 6, right? Because the square root of 36 is 6, and this equals 24 cubic units, whatever units we're looking at. And that's the answer. Thanks.